all right guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we will be deploying a website to the web for free so if you have a site that you've been working on maybe it's a project this tutorial is perfect for you and again we will be using our github so we're going to be posting our files to github and then posting it via netlify so everything is going to be explained in the video and i'll walk through every step of the process now with that being said let's just get right into it the first thing we we'll want to do is create a folder with our files inside of it so i'm just going to call this now i'm just going to call this i don't know let's just say deployed site whatever and let's just open visual studio code now we're just going to open the file over here and let's just make an index.html file now for you this may be a little different right you might have like a whole bunch of stuff but i'm just making a regular base application here so let's just put some random content on here let's just call it nizar's cool website let's go and then here let's just say hello world my name is nizar and this is my deployed site <laughs> all right so the issue with this right is that it's only on our local server so it's only here but it's only on our local computer so what we have to do now is take this site and post it on um, github and then get it on a server somewhere on the internet all right, so to, to deploy a site, we first have to make our repository. This is where the things will be stored. So let's just make this public and let's just call it again, deployed Nazar, okay? Create new repository. Let's just call it deployed, all right? And after a couple seconds, we're gonna get this thing right here. So now we gotta upload the files and the folder that we just made, right? So to do so, we just do an upload an existing file We'll choose one of our files. I'm gonna to go to desktop and deployed site. Yeah, let me just move myself there. Let's just open that and just upload the index.html file right here, okay? Now, sometimes you're gonna to have to upload folders and that is when I recommend you just connect to GitHub desktop and then uploading via your own terminal. But this is just a simple application to show you the process, all right? So then we just commit the changes and there we have it. So it's on GitHub now. Now that it's on GitHub, now it's time to upload it to the web. So there are two options on deploying our sites. That, so I usually use two different types of apps, one being Vercel and one being Netlify. So this is Netlify and this is Vercel. If you're uploading a really simple application, maybe it's like an HTML, CSS and JavaScript, I recommend Netlify because it's just way simpler. While Vercel, is more so for complex applications like those in React, Next.js, or the like. So we're gonna be using Netlify because it's a little bit more simple and it's faster to do. Now, when you're creating your Netlify account, make sure that you are logging in with your GitHub. It's completely safe, but by logging in into your GitHub, you don't have to keep uploading files to this application when you can just grab it right away. So to deploy a site, right, you're just gonna to go to add new site, import an existing project and I told you to log in with GitHub or connect to your GitHub. Here's how you do it. So now that we're connected, we can just search for deployed right here. And all we need to do is just deploy. So now that the application is done loading, we're going to see if the app has published on a public place. All right. And there we have it. So this can be shared with many people. If you guys go to this app right now, it'll be deployed. But as you can see, guys, it's really simple. All we're using is connections to our GitHub and then posting it on a third party application. And again, there are many sites that do this for free. Also, one more thing before we go, make sure your app is not in a folder like this where the main one has a folder. It's to it's fine. But I'm, I just say that because it won't work if you don't say that it's in a main file. So let's just import another project. This is an app I, I was just showed you guys that I was working on. And I'm just gonna do uh, mentor AI just to show y'all like this. The base directory now, before we didn't put anything, now we have to put slash mentor because the main folder, you see there's no, there's no files right now, is all the app is in mentor. So just something to show y'all and something that you may run into. Anyways, guys, 
here is the application looks great it's working perfectly and i hope that you know it, it worked for you and if it didn't please uh leave something in the comments so i can help you and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video